Could have been bad. Okay, we're recording. So keep everything region five appropriate. And I'm gonna share my slides and we'll get rolling. Loading, everybody can see that perfectly clear, beautiful blue screen. Thumbs up someone, yes, awesome. Okay, well, welcome everybody to the Region 5 uh, Connection Session. Today is Monday, February 22nd. Welcome to Annual Conference Week. I hope you guys are really excited about uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the, the keynote speakers, all the sessions that have been scheduled, but we're gonna kick things off with a little bit of Region 5 business, some uh, award acknowledgements and celebrations, and just an opportunity to, to see each other's faces. So feel free to, you know, scroll through other people's faces instead of the, the slides if you want to. Maybe that's more fun. Jason has a fantastic mustache, as we've already pointed out. Maybe pin his screen for the slideshow. <laughs> uh, okay, so, oh no, I have to click through the bullets. Okay, uh, my name is Cody Mickle, and I've been the Region 5 rep for the member network for the past two years. My term will be ending up here in May. I work at the University of Minnesota on the Twin Cities campus. I'm a facilities guy. And Kate, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Kate Nail. I've been the Region 5 student leader for the past uh, term, and I am a current graduate assistant at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. And shameless plug, looking for J-O-Bs. Uh, if you have postings coming live, please reach out to Kate Nail. She's amazing. I've had weekly phone calls her with, for the past 50, maybe 48 weeks now, and she's amazing and would make an, a wonderful addition to anyone's staff. So shout out Kate Nail if you have a position open. And then we also wanted to recognize uh, some of our state directors and state student leaders. I saw some of you on the call already for sure. TJ Hill representing uh, Colorado and Wyoming. Um, all have done a fantastic job. And uh, I mentioned that we've had weekly calls, Kate and I, to try to keep each other on task, really to keep me on task in this job uh, for the past year, but also have really enjoyed monthly calls with the state leadership and trying to um, turn out good content for the newsletters. And man, we got this far without talking about COVID. What a heck of a year it's been. Um, but thank you, TJ, for being a spark of, uh, of energy and enthusiasm. And Kayla Brecker at Iowa, Jasmine Mays Browning, also looking for J-O-B, so look out for her. Uh, Noah Kramer, AKA Mayhem, up in Minnesota Duluth. Um, Nebraska, Brian Stelzer, uh, North Dakota, also Noah, um, and South Dakota, also Brian Stelzer, and Wyoming TJ, as we talked about before, and student leader Tanner Cree. Uh, so you notice that some states didn't have any student reps, so there is plenty of opportunity to step up in the Nurse Association to grow as a professional. We talk about professional development all the time, student development all the time, tons of awards to nominate people for, tons of positions to stand for. Um, please don't be shy and uh, try to pay, pay attention to the schedules and when things come out. If you're a student interested in, in a role like that, please uh, raise your hand, stand up, be counted and, and get a cool opportunity. Um, hey Cody, I just wanna plug here that we accidentally left uh, Logan. I'm just gonna say Logan K off of the North Dakota student leader there. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, and these this slide has the, the member network, what has been for 2020 and 2021, uh, Nigel Harris being the board representative, and we actually don't know who the board representative will be next year, hasn't been decided yet, and Tom Kirch was the past president's rep. Uh, the incoming past president's rep will be Lori Braden down at LSU, and uh, on the next slide, you'll see the incoming Region 5 member network folks, but um, the cycle is the evens and the odds kind of rotate on opposite years, so uh, one, three, and five will rotate off. The professional reps will rotate off this May. And then of course the students rotate um, annually. So that's who was on or is concluding their terms. And uh, coming up this year, I don't know, Greg and Bri Bryce, I saw your mug on the, on the gallery view earlier. Greg Durham, the incoming Region 5 member network rep uh, director at Creighton University in Omaha. And Bryce, man, GA, I'm sorry, what's your position at UNL right now? Um, sport, sport programs, GA. Sport program, right on, right on. 
um, University of Nebraska Lincoln sporting the hundred year uh, red jacket. Uh, it's not a red blazer at the award ceremony, but it's a red jacket this year. Um, so please get familiar with Greg and Bryce. Don't be shy about reaching out to them for newsletter content or all of those various positions and awards, et cetera, uh, that are going on. Congratulations to you two. Okay, and then continually on some of the regional highlights. Um, so first of all, from a membership standpoint, we have currently 41 institutional members. And at this time last year, we had 52 institutional memberships, um, but we're down a little bit. And I think we're all experiencing memberships being down a little bit in 2021, particularly with um, our recreation centers selling memberships and things. Um, so I actually was really impressed with what where our membership numbers are at. Uh, currently, we have 37 student members and 211 professional members. Uh, in 2020, we had just under 300 total student and professional members. So again, we're down a little bit, but um, frankly, not as, not as much as I had expected. So shout out Region 5 for uh, being committed. And then uh, some of the business updates, our contingency fund, uh, we got lucky in that we weren't trying to host a regional conference um, this past fall in 2020 under COVID restrictions and travel restrictions and decimated professional development budgets and such. So um, we didn't really have a lot risked as far as venue rentals and hotel blocks and things like that. Some other um, regions lost a little bit on their contingency funds, which is sort of okay. That's what it's there for, but uh, region five still, still healthy at $14,193. And then our healthy endowment, which enables a lot of the scholarships uh, to happen is at $52,316. Turning it over to you, Kate, for Region 5 Stars. Yeah, so uh, we just kind of wanted to recognize everyone who participated as a volunteer over this past term. Um, there are a lot of names uh, and I did want to list everyone out and what they did. In their institution, but I'm not going to read through everyone. So if you want to take a moment to kind of recognize who's contributed over the past year and um, maybe what schools they're from and uh, what they were able to accomplish. And I apologize if anyone accidentally got left off as a large list to sort through. We should have had some background music. Yeah. <laughs> I think the story is that Region 5 steps up there's so many of these slides to go through. We are sort of lower in population numbers as most folks know, I think, but man, if we're not committed and involved. And so thank you all for uh, stepping up. And it's cool to notice there's uh, multiple students and multiple people who took multiple positions over the past year. So there's a lot of names that are on there several times. And we're still going. <laughs> Shout out Region 5, tons yeah. of opportunities uh, to get involved. Okay, and then on to the, the rest of the awards. So shout out for the University of Iowa, um, Michelle Harder. I don't know if she's on this call, but we didn't keep that a secret, but I know that uh, Mal yeah, <laughs> snaps for Michelle. Uh, Mallory and the folks down at Iowa are super excited, and I think that uh, Michelle was duly honored in their staff, and so uh, I think that that's awesome. And Mr. Dennison, if you would like to donate to the Region 5 account, you may do so at any time, so by all means, just uh, designate the Region 5 fund um, when you donate. Uh, Nurse Annual Service Awards, Aaron Patchett, uh, CSU, Julie Faulkner, and Drew DeVore, our very own U of M Twin Cities, and Greg Durham, Creighton in Omaha. Thank you for your service. Well, well done, uh, Region 5. And Wasson Award winners, I don't know if it, like some of these things look like the other a little bit. <laughs> Man, just Vicki Grinnan. Uh, congratulations to the students at the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, Michael Anderson, Jennifer Beers. Yeah, pretty good. Allie Johnson, Kate Nail, Kate the Great, looking for a job this spring. Brock Prieb, Prieb, yes. And Becky Stolpa. 
congratulations and well done. And shout out to the marketing folks at the University of Minnesota, the Twin Cities campus um, for Creative Excellence Award in the programming publication category. Okay, and then that brings us uh, to the Region 5 Regional Award of Merit, which has been uh, kept a secret. And so how we're gonna do this is the next slide, we're gonna reveal some clues that are maybe more broad to more specific to try to say who the winner is. And uh, maybe you'll be able to figure it out. Amy, thanks for the chat. I haven't seen you in a long time, so good to hear from you. Uh, the Region 5 Award of Merit winner is a huge country music fan. So I'm out. Holds a passion for student development. That should not rule out any of you. Uh, is a former Wasson Award winner, which means they very well could be from Nebraska because there's 10 of them a year, maybe. <laughs> They're an active member of NURSA, serving on a NURSA Championship Series Committee or Wasson Awards Selection Committee every year of their professional career. That's dedication, every year to show up. Uh, completed the NURSA School of Recreational Management Level 1, competed in the NURSA Championship Series as a student so they can ball, worked as an official in the NURSA Championship Series as a student, serves the NURSA Championship Series as a staff member at the regional and national levels as a professional. We gotta be getting close. Anybody have butterflies? Think it might be them? Instrumental in the creation of a unified Special Olympics club on campus and currently serves as its advisors. Maybe it's out of the bag now. Laid the groundwork for making Special Olympics a staple of NURSA Championship Series events in Region 5. Loves the Kansas City Chiefs. Ooh, close one this year. St. Louis Cardinals, why not the Royals? We don't know why not, uh, is an avid volleyball player, pretty tall at the net, and quite possibly the most dominant mind for correct flag football in the history of the Midwest, winning countless championships on two campuses during their undergraduate career, graduate career, and beyond. That one might be subjective, I don't know, but uh, everybody, please take yourself off of mute and join me in congratulations and offering a round of applause for Mr. Aaron Duker of the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Congratulations to the Dukes. Um, we're going to stop the slide share for a moment and allow uh, first. Zach to read his nomination letter followed by Vicky. So take us away, Zach. Yeah, Duker, first you're welcome. I, I you know, I, I refrain from saying he may or may not be the president of the Eric Church fan club. I didn't <laughs> let that cat out of the bag. I left it pretty vague with country music enthusiast. Um, but yeah, anyway, NURSA Region 5 Award of Merit selection committee. I am thrilled at the opportunity to provide a letter in support of Aaron Duker and his nomination for the Region 5 Award of Merit. Aaron is among the most talented young professionals in the field of campus recreation and he proves that on our campus and across our region consistently. Many of the contributions that Aaron makes are subtle and can only be described by those in his sphere of influence. However, when it comes to Aaron's inclusive mindset, and the experiences he has delivered to participants and staff at the countless extramural events he has led, his contributions are overt. Specifically, I want to bring Special Olympics to the forefront of the conversation. Aaron has a knack for flying under the radar, and his work often goes understated, but his contributions to the region cannot be denied by those familiar with the world of extramural sport activities. By taking the inclusive mindset that we are all better when everyone participates, he's broadened the perspectives of all those that take the opportunity to participate in an extramural activity that Aaron has led. Aaron was the first person in the region to bring the Special Olympics division to extramural activities. The tradition of inclusion continues with each of the regional flag football and basketball championships held at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I could not begin to measure the positive impact that the inclusion of these athletes has made on these events. The inclusive mindset brought specifically to the extramural world within our region is just a microcosm for what Aaron brings to the numerous leadership roles he has taken on across the region and on campus. Aaron is many things to many people and organizations, but I view him first and foremost as an inclusive leader in the division of student affairs on the campus of the University of Nebraska. 
He leads by example, energetically serving on numerous committees. His altruism is never displayed, but is always there. And the activities he touches are always better for it. Diversity, equity, and inclusion have never been a hotter topic on our campus than they are right now. While some individuals and departments struggle with the idea of bringing intentional inclusion to the forefront of the conversation, it comes second nature to Aaron. It's the same mindset that brought an underrepresented group into the fold at regional championships, pairing University of Nebraska students with Special Olympics athletes where they competed against others from the region. I remember this Special Olympics division feeling like a leap at the time. Now it feels almost second nature to have this group of athletes interacting with those that traditionally took the field for years prior. Again, with the under, understated piece, he doesn't often talk about it. Aaron just does it. I feel fortunate to work in the same department with a selfless, inclusive leader, especially during these uncertain, turbulent times. It's been a pleasure to watch Aaron make his mark on this campus and on our region. I believe Aaron Duker to be deserving of this award, and I would be happy to answer any questions about his qualifications. Congrats, Duker. I know he doesn't have his video on, but I hope he's soaking it up. Uh, Vicki, would you like to read your letter now? That would definitely be Aaron. No video. <laughs> So it's, it was my pleasure to write a letter of support for Aaron also. His contribution to the region through ideas and engagement is to be commended. He is one who reflects on what he needs to do more completely and perfectly in the future, then he puts those reflections into action. He's continuously involved across campus, as you've heard from Zach, and initiatives urgent to our current situation from COVID-19, as well as keeping connections with colleagues throughout the region. Aaron has been a key member of both the fall to forward to fall, determining our current status and helping to provide solution oriented actions for keeping our students safe and engaged. And one of the four call to action teams determining, de, determining excuse me, actions around the university's commitment to being an anti-racist campus. Aaron's talents become evident when you see him diving into projects and working industriously with colleagues across campus and across the, the region to improve situations. The impact on our region happens when he communicates with other colleagues and universities to bring the best ideas, both to our colleagues across the profession through the discussions, but also back to our campus as they look for best solutions to, to the current challenges we face. He adheres to a higher standard of performance and can raise a group's achievement level by creating a culture of winning and aspiring to be the best. Aaron is one, one to welcome outsiders to conversations and teams and being able to put friends or strangers at ease quickly. It is a gift that Aaron has. He has an exceptional ability to win others over and because he energizes social situations and naturally puts strangers at ease, he helps build networks by connecting people with each other and continuously involved with the Nurse of Championships Championship Series through committee work and working on site to mentor students and hosting uh, tournaments speaks to his abilities to draw people together for a common goal. Aaron can be a very matter of fact, uh, as you've also heard Zach say, he's very objective and practical in his approach to certain people or specific situations. His work to bring Special Olympics to the regional flag football tournament shows his confidence in turning to reliable specialists for direction. Others value his ability to listen, gather facts and to find common ground when discussions become overly emotional and Aaron can bring consensus to the group and help balance the workload so everyone involved expends approximately the same amount of time, effort, and energy. He can prevent arguments before they start by quickly helping others find common ground and resolution, and it's always a win-win outcome for him. Aaron relies on the diverse viewpoints of certain teammates to spark conversations that produce exciting ideas, and his whole is greater than the sum of its parts attitude provides an opportunity for everyone to ask questions, offer solutions, describe situations, and or come to a solution that is beneficial for everyone involved. He provides the, over, the evidence that the group's collective intelligence wins um, over a single person's ideas and thoughts, and he has the ability to arouse people's interest with his stories and his presentation style. He then will often rely on his intuition to make the right decisions as events unfold. Aaron has shown his commitment to the University of Nebraska and to Region 5 by being actively engaged at all levels of the department, the campus, the community, the state, and the region throughout his nursing uh, commitment. I couldn't be more proud that Aaron is the Region 5 Award of Merit winner.
so I noticed his video is on. Love that T-shirt hanging in the background. And in Region 5, I like that we kind of keep it a, a, a surprise. I hope that, Aaron, you feel honored a bit. Uh, and certainly you didn't have any words prepared, but would you like to say anything to your colleagues in Region 5? I mean, uh, thank you. Yeah, I was a little bit uh, caught off guard until I started reading some of the bullet points that Zach um, put up there. You might have exaggerated some of them, but that's also um, the type of individual Zach is if you know him. So I wouldn't believe all of those bullet points, but yes, I, I caught on rather quickly once that popped up. Uh, you know, I, thank you to all of you, especially my team here at Nebraska. You know, Zach and Vicki have been a big part of my development from uh, coming here as a grad student to being the coordinator to now being the assistant director. Um, and countless other individuals um, within the department as well, uh, traveling to multiple regional national tournaments, getting to know a lot of you as well. So um, I do appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, they are right. I'm not a man of many words. I just like to do things. So uh, that's all I got for you all. Uh, thank you very much. I do really appreciate it. Congratulations, Aaron. So Kate, we're going back to the slide deck and turning our attentions towards the annual conference. Or I can take it if you want. Sorry, I was struggling to, to get back to where we we're supposed to be here. Um, but yeah, like Cody said, uh, the annual conference technically starts today. Tomorrow's when the, the session starts. Um, but Cody should be posting a link in the chat for how to use the software. Cody, were you going to do that? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, no. Oh, Zoom fail, y'all. Um, but at some point, it will be coming to you. Um, we're using a, a program, I believe it's called Feed Loop. So um, there should be a YouTube video to kind of figure out how to uh, navigate that and what to expect. Um, but it's going to be a lot of the same content that you would see at a typical in-person NURSA, um, just virtual again. But there are some different things going on. There should be some um, opportunity to watch sessions on demand if you can't make it to the live session. Um, there'll be the virtual exhibit hall and virtual facility tours um, that were sent in by different institutions across the country and Canada. Uh, there's a virtual 5K. I'm not sure if you're still able to sign up for that, but you can sign up as a team and participate in that. Um, and then there's also a variety of different socials going on. There will be a student social tomorrow. Um, I know we're doing kind of a virtual escape room, so um, that should be fun if you're a student on this call and would like to join that. Um, and then there's going to be a student lounge and some take a student to coffee opportunity to kind of have some informal networking um, that you all can look forward to. Okay, I think I dropped the links into the chat now. So uh, there are three YouTube videos linked sort of in the middle bottom of the page for what to expect for the conference. Please, uh, if you haven't watched those yet, check them out. Um, and then I also, while Zach was delivering his eloquence for Aaron's nomination, dropped the info feed loop email. Uh, that's the email that will send you your uh, password for your login credentials for feed loop which is like the virtual venue of the conference. That's a little weird for me to wrap my head around. The virtual venue of the conference is Feedloop. Anyway, uh, that's where your credentials are gonna come from. Watch those videos and uh, I'll be greeting folks at the expo hall. I'm like interested to see how that's gonna work. Supposedly it's like almost like you walk into a physical space and you can like greet people. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. So if you have any questions with that, um, please check out the website or reach out to me. Um, you can find, I think my, e my cell phone number is like in the signature of every email I ever sent. So uh, if you need help, let me know. Cool. Sorry, we're done with this. Advance the slide. Okay, and then thanks for the shout out, uh, Chris Den Dennison from Northern Iowa. We have a retirement announcement, uh, Tim Klatt from the University of Northern Iowa. After 39 years in campus recreation, uh, he's retiring on July 1. 
Uh, after decades of service at Northern Iowa, filled with all aspects of campus recreation programming, he originally be began in intramurals and sport clubs and uh, went into leadership roles within the department and across the campus. He's a longtime member of NURSA, served in a number of volunteer roles, widely known as the guy who presented the UNI intramural wrestling tournament, which sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, at the national conference. Tim is a triathlete and can, can usually be found in lane seven of the UNI pool. We wish Tim well in his retirement and I know there are many more retirements across region five. So if you wanna share that news uh, out, who's retiring, those sorts of things, necrology reports, whatever, please let me know. And uh, we'll push that out through the newsletter and also report that to NURSA headquarters so they can update their information. Okay. Y'all, that was turbo, 27 minutes. You got some extra time in your life back. Um, feel free to, to ask us some questions. Um, also, we have some, some updates. I don't know if uh, UCCS folks, Skylar or anybody is on the, the chat. I, don't, I can't see like the gallery view when I'm sharing my screen, um, but we're not gonna be hosting an in-person Region 5 conference this fall. I don't, I don't know if that's surprising to many of you. Um, still tricky travel restrictions and tricky professional development budget situations on many of our campuses. So um, to preserve our contingency fund where it is, um, we will be doing some, definitely NURSA will be doing some professional development programming, but just not an in-person Region 5 conference this coming fall. So please don't uh, plan on or depend on uh, that coming. So that was one loose end that may have come up in the conversation. Has anybody had any other questions arise or any thoughts? Any shout out love? There? Zach, you got something? Uh, I don't think you can see the chat, but um, it has come to our attention that Carmen Hecht has retired from Augustana as of uh, what, three days ago after serving 32 plus years up at Augie. So, so what's Mark doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm in mourning and uh, having a lot of sleepless nights. <laughs> and Mark is probably wandering around the, around the building right now. That's right. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> How do I keep this operation going? <laughs> she she's missed already. So congratulations to Carmen. Thank you for pointing that out, Zach. Vicky, Cody? go ahead. Anybody? Chris, Mr. Yeah. Dennison. So, um, Cody, I just want to give a shout out to you and Kate. Um, what you guys have had to do, being a, serving on the board member network this last year, making really, really hard decisions um, on, on behalf of Region 5 and the entire membership of the, of the association is, is just really unbelievable. And what you guys were able to do, I mean, I, I fished around on, on the conference website the last couple of days just to figure out how to use it. I, it's shocking how cool of a thing you guys have put together for us this week. It, it's just really, actually, I'm not shocked about it. I'm impressed. <laughs> and I know it's a lot of hard work and a lot of really hard decisions and very strategic things that you guys have had to do this year. And I uh, just want to make sure that, that you guys are appreciated for that. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Chris. And I want to deflect 99% of that to Kate, particularly with regard to the joint regional lead on the international lead on which has never been done before. Uh, Kate played an enormous role in that happening and pulling that off. So uh, she's awesome and looking for a job this spring if we didn't mention that yet. Uh, so Kate, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Cody and Chris. I'm really bad at awkward silences on Zooms, but I'm trying to make room for other people to speak. So be assertive if that's you. Um, hey, Cody, one, one thing that I wanted to touch base with, and this is something that with Nebraska being the main hub for Champ Series, um, is I'm a part of the Student Officials Development Campaign and we are putting on a virtual uh, expo for Nursa Foundation tomorrow afternoon, uh, 1 15 to 3. Uh, it, it's going to be talking about how that campaign fund directly benefits um, the CHAMP series from an officials development standpoint, mainly with a lot of the operational and development opportunities for officials. So if anybody's interested in learning more about that, we're going to have a panel of Nursa professionals um, 
that have have spanned like the test of time with uh with the champ series and also like what's coming in the future and then also having some student official testimonials so if anybody's interested in being able to, to take part in that and learn more about it um i since i joined the campaign uh in this past year i've honestly learned how little that we really do get that information out there to for people to be able to donate um i know we rely heavily on on people within NURSA to be able to fund that so Definitely want to learn more and also be able to give us feedback and ideas on how they, we can do more to get the word out. So it's not relying so heavily on the people who are directly involved with the Champ Series and volunteer their countless hours year after year. Thanks, Cody. Hey, Cody, I want to put a plug in tonight at um, six o'clock. Our time is the celebration of Eric Nickel, who was last year's honor award winner. And um, really, that was really tough for him, not having a conference and not being able to have the in-person, uh, you know, hugs and congratulations that we that we have at the um, the, the conference itself. And so, if anybody still wants to get on, um, I don't I don't have that link, and, but you can go on the site and you can um, still sign up for it. You just have to go on the site. Chelsea, do you? That's something you could throw in the in the chat. But anyway, I know that he would appreciate those of you who know Eric. I know he'd appreciate you being there. So, yeah, the the JMU umbrella also casts a long shadow. I know we've got some JMU love on our campus as well. So, yeah, I, that's a great point. It's not having in person conferences have been a bummer for I think most of us. But to sort of get the the recognition or award of your career and not be able to share that with your colleagues, I think that that would be a little bit of a bummer to say the least. So yeah, please reach out to Eric and, and join the celebrations this evening if you can find that. And then the same thing is happening on, uh, what's today, Wednesday night for Stacy Hall, who's the current Honor Award winner. So again, if you can be there and you know them, I know they'd appreciate it. Of course, well-deserved. Thank you, Chelsea, for dropping that in the chat. Okay, like I said, Turbo 33 minutes might be a record for any regional connection meeting of all time. George, I see you smile and just, just joined us. I hope your previous session went well. It's just like me to miss all the fun. God <laughs> almighty, I used to see Vicky up there smiling away. God dog, I miss you guys. Maybe we'll catch each other uh, tomorrow in the, in the networking. I don't know how to network on Zoom, but I guess we'll all figure out, right? Virtual coffee, take a student out, sign up. Cool. Uh, I did I did record this session, so uh, Duker for sure will get that shared with you. And uh, anybody else who wants it, let me know. Um, well, happy to happy to, to distribute. So I'm gonna give 30 more seconds or I'll hang on until I'm sort of the last one to sign off. But I think that that concludes the region five regional connection meeting. Have a lovely rest of your Monday and go nurse, peace, love, nurse, they say. Uh, attend as much as you can with the conference. Carve out your time. Protect it. Bye, Sherry. Good to see you. Okay, you're the real MVP. Talk to you later, Cody. Bye, TJ. Cody, I'm hanging on with you to the end. <laughs> nice job, guys. Thanks, Chris. Big shoes to fill, you know. Thank you. <laughs> see you later. Now what, Kate? Slots? <laughs> Might be a nap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a little bit of work to do, and then it's our last day here, so warm it up. Yeah. Please have a filet mignon for me. Oh, I had one last night. It was fantastic. <sighs> it's been a long time since I had a really good steak. It was good. It was really good. Okay. There's live opera music too. Live? Yeah. You're baller. <laughs> <laughs> when in Vegas, you know. <laughs> but I don't often eat filet mignon, but when I do, there's always a live opera singer present. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bring my own to the restaurant. Okay, I contemplated. I waffled a little bit on putting you on blast, looking for jobs, but I hope that you. 
Take it yeah. all in good fun. <laughs> and well, maybe someone's going to get a job out of it. You know. That's right. But. Okay, Kate. Okay. All right. Be the best. Thanks, you. See you around. <laughs>